Hey guys, this is Lawrence from buildmyecommerce.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the default layout in OpenCard uh, to something like this uh, using a theme called Stelegance. Uh, this would be uh, suitable for a fashion web store. Before we get started, uh, let's take a look at the table of contents for this video. If you want, you can pause the video for a few seconds and when ready, just come back. Welcome back. So the first step is uploading the theme files. Before we do that, I want to make sure that you have the latest version of the OpenCard and VQ mod installed. If you don't know how to do those two things, please watch my videos on how to do just that. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded the theme file. It's right here. Uh, it's a zip file and we need to unzip the package so double click on it and go inside the folder and you'll see uh, five folders for open card and you want to make sure to select the version that matches your open card version so I'm using the latest version so let's go in there and you'll see four different files and uh, folders in here and we need to upload these uh, using a file manager so I want to zip uh, all these folders into one file. So select all, right click and compress four folders. And I'm just gonna rename this file to keep myself organized and drag this to my desktop. Where's my desktop? Uh, here we go. Okay, so uh, once you're in the file manager, uh, go to the folder where you install the open card and go to click on upload choose file and click on the Seligans zip file we just created click open and it will start the upload process uh, it's completed go back and we want to extract the zip file here so click on the file first and click extract extract files close and click on reload and we can delete the zip file now since we don't need it anymore and that's it for the uh, up uploading the theme files okay now we have to log into the back end and activate the Seligan's theme so uh, log in first and go to system settings and then click edit and we want to go over to the store tab and where it says here template uh, right now it says default right so click on that and choose Seligans and make sure you save and that's how you activate the theme Okay, now we have to do a theme module installation. So do that. to do that, go to Extensions, Modules, and click uh, Install next to the uh, Theme Options, Seligans, right here. Click Install. And then after you've done that, click Edit, and make sure to activate the theme by pressing on this button right here, so that becomes green and make sure you save and now when we go to the front end of the store you should see the theme activated uh, it looks a little bit different from the default layout uh, which was right here and obviously we have to make a few more adjustments so let's do that next okay so next is image size adjustment in order to do that go into uh, system settings click edit and go into the image tab and this is where you change the uh, the size for the images here um, if you have the documentation that came with the Seligans theme uh, it has the uh, the recommended values that they want you to use so I'm just gonna pause the video for a few minutes and enter the values here and come back Okay, now I have entered all those values from the documentation. Next step is the tab products. 
uh, let's go to that demo store here and if you see below uh, you will see three tabs here latest bestseller and special uh, this basically lets you save uh, you know some space here by having all the tabs in one line instead of you know three different lines here so in order to do that you have to uh, go to the theme options seligans under the modules theme options seligans here click edit and you want to go to the effects body and you want to check uh, best sellers latest products and special products and make sure to um, activate the autoplay carousel and click save so now we have to create the main home page banner right here that you see um, in order to do that we have to go to the extensions modules and install the advanced slideshow elegance click install and after you do that make sure to uninstall the default slideshow so you can see here it says slideshow on the bottom uh, click on install okay and go back to the advanced slideshow elegance and click edit and we want to activate the module status and then for the slider height, I'm going to use 520. Slider layout, change to full width. Slides quantity, I just want one for now. Uh, elements on each slide is to two. Because if you look on demo store here, we have two titles here, two lines of titles. And the next thing to do is under the uh, slide one, activate this. So it's green and we're going to upload the banner uh, click upload um, I have the image already ready to go right here so click open okay double click on the file you just uploaded and you will see the banner right here and the link this is where you want the the banner link to go after you click on it. Uh, for now, I'll just leave it blank. For the uh, transition effect, I'll leave it at random. And then under the uh, slide elements tab, number one, activate that. And for the under the custom HTML or simple text, we are going to enter denim fashion. And for the style, uh, we want to make it very big white. And leave everything as is here. And we want to change the, the position from 100 to 80. And next is go to uh, click on second tab. Activate the element status. And here we want to type uh, What's the second line say? Add style to your wardrobe. Add style to your wardrobe. Okay. And then click big white. And we have to change the positions to 80 for the X and then for the Y, 155. So that way the title will be just below the uh, denim fashion here and after you've done that uh, make sure to save now when you go to the front end of your store as you can see uh, you have the home page banner right here uh, if you press reload you will have uh, basically a random transition each time it comes on see that okay and that's it now we're going to upload uh, these three banners on the bottom here. Um, I've already gone ahead and saved these three banners. So all I need to do is upload these. So go into the backend, system, design, banners, 
and click insert to add a new one let's call this one bottom banners and we want to add the three banners in here so click add banner click browse and I want to upload the banners so I have three of them I'm gonna upload one by one click upload second one and the last one accessories and let me start with the accessories double click on that and you can give it a title here I just call it accessories and for the link I'll leave it blank for now add banner browse and let's select the denim double click call it denim add banner and last one is spring let's call that one spring and that's it and click save and now we have to go back to the extensions modules and we want to go to the carousel right here click edit and we want to select the bottom banners here and press uh, 3 for the limit and then for the scroll 3 and for the image size is 299 by 120 and then layout is home content bottom okay everything else is the same click save and now when we go to the front end we should be able to see the bottom three banners as you can see right here so now we're going to add this uh, Sally Guns logo uh, this extra information at the top left corner here and also I'm gonna add a YouTube social icon on the bottom right so let's get started uh, so we have to go back to the back end and go to settings edit and go to where it says uh, image sorry where it says store logo we want to upload the new one so click browse click upload and I have the Stalagans logo right here click open double click on it click save and now when we go to our store and refresh we have the logo next thing is to add in this extra information at the header go back to uh, back in and go to modules and we want to click edit next to the theme options for Seligans and click on the header tab so this is where you enter that extra information so I'm just gonna copy and paste it paste it here okay and click save and when we go back to our front end click refresh we should see that here and now let's add the YouTube icon here to do that all you have to do is go to footer tab right here and as you can see you have uh, many different icons you can put in uh, for the link uh, for now I'm just gonna do a YouTube icon so I'm gonna enter my YouTube icon my, my, I mean uh, my YouTube channel name right here and click Save and when we go to the front end click refresh and you can see my YouTube icon here when you click on it it will go to my uh, YouTube channel so this is the final step I'm not going to create every single categories that you see from the demo store all products what I'm gonna do is I'm create I'm going to create one product and one category so you guys know how to do it so let's go back to the back end and go to uh, products and what I want to do is to delete all the products that I don't need 
So select all. The check mark right here. Checkbox, I mean. And click uh, delete. Okay. And what we want to do is insert and product name. So let's pick a product here. Uh, let's pick this one, Anna Flynn. Let's call it Anna Flynn. And you can enter the descriptions if you want. I'm just going to leave all this blank here. And uh, next thing is I want to type in the model number. Um, the model number for this is 10818. Copy and paste that here. Uh, price is $27. Let's put a special price for the discount at $19.99. Start date, 00, 000. zero, zero. Uh, this basically means that this special price does not have an expiration date, okay? And for the image, for the main image, go to the data tab and click uh, browse next to the image click upload and I already have the image that I want to upload here it's right here click the first one open and double click on the image and I want to upload a second image to do that you have to go to the image tab add image select the browse click upload and click on the second image double click on the second image here click OK and uh, click Save. Now we want to uh, create a category. So go to Catalog, Categories. And let's delete the ones that we have here. Click on the empty checkbox here. Click Delete. OK. And now let's do that again so we don't have anything in here. Now we want to insert let's call this one dresses and uh, that's it uh, let's click save now when we go to the front end of our store and click refresh uh, it's not showing up because um, um, okay so I made a mistake here go back to the uh, dresses click edit and go click on the data tab and make sure the top uh, display in the top menu bar is checked and click save go back to our <coughs> store and click refresh and now we see the dresses now we have to do one more thing go back to catalog products click uh, edit next to the product and we want to go to the links tab and next to the uh, categories here uh, type dresses select the dresses and basically what this would do is put this product in that category so click save now when we go to the front end of our store and click on the dresses and it should show up right here now when we go back to the home page uh, you can see under the featured there's nothing in here because we have to add the product. Uh, in order to do that, you have to go back to the back end, go to Extensions, Modules, and go down to where it says Featured and click Edit. And let's add the product in here, the one we just created, Anna Flynn. Okay, and we have to change the image size to 248 and 171 because that's the size of the image and click save now when we go to the front end refresh we can see our product added in here and that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions uh, don't forget to leave a comment and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and I'll make more of these till next time see ya